Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news as of the 11th of June. Of course, I am here to bring you yet more news from E3. And this time I'm going to be bringing you a roundup of all of the biggest PS4 news as of course Sony's conference was late last night UK time. So there is pretty much a ton of news concerning the PS4 and of course the games for the PS4. Uh, there's quite a lot of news just on the console so I probably won't touch much on the games on this particular video but I will do a separate video for that if I can actually gather all of the information on the games in one place. Information is a bit scattered at the moment, it's a little bit annoying but hey ho. Anyway, uh, so the PS4. Obviously, the Xbox One has been confirmed to be £429, $499 or €499, Euros, and while the PS4 is actually undercutting it quite significantly, it will be €399, €399 Euros, or £349, so it's US$100 less and £100 and €100 Euros less, basically €100 less than the Xbox One. And they did actually show the console hardware for the first time and confirmed that its Gaikai service will launch in 2014 in the US, which will make a selection of classic PS3 titles available via the cloud. And by the way, guys, if you want to see the console, I'll put a link in the description so you can go take a look. Take a look, excuse me. And Sony has confirmed that more than 30 PS4 exclusive titles are in development, 20 of which will launch during the first year of the PS4. And globally, there are more than 140 games in development for the PS4, including over 100 that will be available in the first year. So the first year of the PS4, well, we're going to be seeing many, many games. And PlayStation Plus memberships will carry over to the PlayStation 4. So members will have access to all the benefits across PS3, PS Vita and PS4 for one price. So that's a really nice feature indeed. And some of these benefits will include online multiplayer access, exclusive discounts, cloud game saves and instant game collection, which gives members a selection of games to discover and enjoy with their friends. And Sony will offer Drive Club PS Plus Edition in the instant game collection to celebrate the launch of the PS4. So there's something interesting there that I think we should touch on just for a moment and that's that the PS4 multiplayer will require a PS Plus subscription and this was confirmed by Sony. And I have a quote here. PS4 multiplayer online access requires PSN account and PS Plus subscription. And of course as pretty much anyone knows PS3 multiplayer is free to access and is considered to be one of the main bonuses of the console over the Xbox 360 which of course just require a subscription to gold to play games online. And the video did show Sony's Shuhei Yoshida demonstrating that sharing a disc-based game on a PS4 is as simple as passing the disc to another PS4 owner. And it was clearly a dig at Microsoft's DRM-heavy used game policies for the Xbox One. However, the video did note that the foregoing instructional video applies only to disc-based games, in indicating that any games you acquire digitally may be subject to DRM restrictions, as is the case on the PS3, so that makes a perfect, perfect sense. So I'm sure many people are going to be a little bit upset by this change, because obviously they've been enjoying free multiplayer all this time on the PS3. However, you do need to consider that PS3, while... You know, the free online was always a good thing. They had various problems with that service, and there's only so much they can give you with a free service. And of course, if they're charging you for that service, they can take a little bit of that money that they're receiving and put it into improving security, giving a better service, and so on. I'm not saying that the PS3 multiplayer is bad, but it's well documented that there have been a few security problems with it over the years, and I just think that perhaps having a little bit of cash flow to pump into it will help with that. But it makes sense, and obviously it's not too expensive, and given that the console is actually quite reasonably priced well, I'm sure many people will understand, but I'm sure there's going to be a few people who are going to be upset by this change. So we touched on the always online and pre-owned restrictions there, and they have confirmed that there will not be any. 
And CEO Jack Tretton confirmed that PS4 games do not require regular online check, and disc games can be traded or sold to friends. When a gamer buys a PS4 disc, they can trade in, sell it to a friend, or lend it, or keep it forever. PlayStation 4 disc games don't need to be connected online to play, or any type of authentication. PS4 won't require you to check in. It won't stop working if you haven't authenticated within 24 hours. So obviously, I pretty much dig a digger MS for that and but to be honest, ignoring all of the shin kicking that's going to be going on between the companies at the moment I'm so glad that Sony has done this because there were some concerns that the PS4 would have to follow suit because well publishers might prefer the Xbox One of course consumers definitely 100% are reacting negatively to the DRM however a publisher might like the idea of getting a little bit of, of a cut of used game sales and well you can't really blame them so there was some concern that Sony might have to follow suit simply because the publishers will say to them well look on this machine we get a cut of used game sales on your machine we don't you need to change that or we're not going to release x game on your console but it seems like that isn't the case of course if it does come up the case then well i'll have to change my tune but of course i'm only speaking as a news has literally freshly come out i'm sure there will be some publishers speaking out on this but I hopefully that doesn't happen i'm not saying i want this to happen oh god no don't don't no that's basically what i'd say to that it's just no don't don't even so that's pretty much it for the Sony Roundup. There is one last thing, however, that I want to discuss. The PS4 will not be region locked. And Shuhei Yoshida confirmed this himself. He announced this on Twitter hours after the E3 media briefing in LA. And basically he said, and yes, PS4 is region free with a smiley face. So that's very, very nice to see indeed. I'm really happy that they're not going to be region locking their console. To be honest, I don't really understand why they we still have region locking in this day and age. In the age of digital games, it shouldn't really be a factor. Of course, games aren't completely digital yet, but PC nowadays is completely digital, and yet we still get struck with added time to wait and so forth. And obviously when it's, say, I don't know, a Japanese company who are making the game it makes sense that they need time to translate it over to English and also change it to PAL, etc. Or um, you know all that good stuff. That makes perfect sense. Cool, fine, no problem. But when it's an American company or an uh, an English speaking game, for example, then well, I don't you know. And sometimes it's a case of America gets it in July and then. Europe and the UK won't get it till Christmas and there'll be no real good reason for it. So, so glad that PS4 is not going to be going go, going down, excuse me, the region locking route. Anyway, that's me done for this particular roundup. As I said, do keep your eyes peeled. I will bring you more Sony related news. Um, there's quite a few games confirmed and I want to discuss those a little bit as well, but not in this video. I think I've rambled on enough for one video, but still, I have really hope you guys have enjoyed. Do hit me up with any thoughts and opinions. Um, the the thoughts and opinions of most people at the moment seem to be, well, that the PS4 completely trounced Microsoft. And, well, to be honest, I don't want to go into the console wars, I'd like to try and remain unbiased, however it is definitely a fact that they are definitely being re more well received than Microsoft, no one can argue that. Anyway, as I said, that's me done, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.